how do we deal with news and information that we're being bombarded with, right? We learn some principles from the Quran and from history. Number one, understand that the media will blow the mistakes committed by Muslims out of proportion, will twist the truth. Now, this is not all media outlets. This is not to paint them with a blanket brush of negativity. There are many amongst the journalists, journalists and, and outlets who are, which are fair. But there are also some, many, perhaps it's even fair to say most, which portray the Muslims in a negative light and blow things out of context. And so you have to keep things in, 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 in proper perspective, right? As Allah did, they made a mistake, yes, but don't forget what you've done, right? When you've, you've driven out the people from their homes and driven people away from Allah and you've, you've killed and tortured and the like, don't forget that as well. Number two, what's the, basic for, the basis for the Muslims when we re receive news about other Muslims? What is our understanding? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says in Surah An-Nur, Surah number 24, verse 12. And about the slander of Aisha radiallahu anha, our mother. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the verse saying, why did the believers not, both the men and the women, when they heard the news of the slander, think good of their own people? And said, this is a, a great slander, right? So the understanding, the basis is, we initially think good of our, of our brothers and sisters, unless there is proof to establish they made a mistake, then kunu qawamina bil qisti shuhada walaw ala anfusikum. And if we find there to be truth, and evidence that there was transgression performed or transgression that was done, then we will stand for justice even if it's against our own selves, let alone, let alone our families or friends. When we are the first to do that. Number three, it is imperative, brothers and sisters, that we do not believe everything that we hear. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says in Surah Al-Hujurat, Surah number 49, verse 6, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu in jaakum fasiq. Allah says, O oh you who believe, if an evil or wicked person comes to you with news, then confirm that news. Because if you don't, he says, you may cause harm to someone. If you act based on the information you receive without confirming it from a source that is not trustworthy, you may harm someone and you will then become regretful over what you did. So we have to confirm what we hear and that's very important. Number four, we have to diversify our media intake. I remember reading a, a, a news broadcast that, you know, a drone strike in Pakistan killed six terrorists. But then you start looking into Eastern media and find out what happened. And you find out it was actually a, a, a girl's school that was bombed and six children who were in school, female children who were in school were killed, right? So that's important. Diversify your media intake. Don't just take from Fox News or CNN or BBC. Spread your wealth around and try and gather information. Number five, critically think. It's important that we critically think, right? When we're fed something, don't just take it at face value. Read what's in between the lines. We have to become a nation that critically thinks and doesn't just take things at face value. Number six, and this is very important. The Salaf, they used to make this dua. Allahumma arina al-haqqa haqqa wa rizuqna attiba'a wa arina al-baatila baatila wa rizuqna ajtinaba Oh Allah, show us truth as truth. And oh Allah, show us falsehood as falsehood. Right? And help us stay away, follow the truth and stay away from falsehood. So why is that important? Because we live in times of confusion. So we ask Allah for clarity in the times that we live in. And the last point that I mention as we close is that if you're going to speak the truth, you speak the whole truth. Right? Like I said, if Muslims do something wrong, we absolutely will condemn it. If, if they do something wrong, we will be the first to condemn. But at the same time, we can't forget the circumstances that caused the situation to begin with. When we talk about what's happening in Palestine and Israel, we can't forget that since 2007, there's been a blockade on the people of Gaza. When we talk about Syria, we can't forget that Bashar has been... Uh, been slaughtering his people left and right. And so naturally there'll be some people who will react out of emotion or after losing their family. But if somebody does something wrong, we will be the first to say, yes, they did something wrong. Don't misconstrue what I'm saying and say we defend the likes of ISIS or the like. No, absolutely not. If anybody kills an innocent civilian, we absolutely stand against that. And Islam is unequivocal and that no civilians are to be harmed. That's unequivocal truth. 
But at the same time, if we're going to speak, then let us speak the whole truth. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did, they made a mistake, but the other mistakes are also there. We, brothers and sisters, we have to develop a maturity and understanding of the information that we receive. Jazakumullahu khairan.